before the video actually starts, I want to make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And also, if you actually turn on my notifications, it's that little bell by the actual subscribe button. Abdul Razak, 155 matches, strike rate of 77. Average of 40, that doesn't matter. It's strike rate that it's all about now. 72 from 47 balls. He's missed the first one. Well, there's a very different delivery. And it's raced to the boundary for four, so maybe he should carry on with the Orcas. Put the slower ball back in the kit bag. 65 miles an hour of that. Have a look at Yunus Khan. He does set. He's looking for the Yorker. He sets. Then he sees it slower. And then he just lays back and slaps it over cover. That's top stroke play. That slapped over extra. It's just a question of how far. Only far enough for four, but that'll do. Another big over, 297 for four. One of the best shots of the day. So Balaji's tried everything in that over. He's tried slow balls, he's tried Yorkers, he's got a full toss, now a shorter ball. But what he's done through all of them is give too much width. Eunice Khan's just letting him see his stumps. He backs away a little bit, clears the front leg, and he's been able to whack it through. It's Razak, actually, and the new batsman, and that's how he loves to hit. Clever shot. Will it get past him? Yes, it does. Now there's a race on. Fielder wins it. I like the first two balls of this over so far. Nearly Kartik's last over. He's gone for 68 so far with four balls to go, but he's been on middle stump. The Pakistanis are going to have to give their stumps away. They've had to give them away, whereas last over, Balaji gave them width to hit through and over the offside. Straight, look for two, run hard. Doesn't have to, it's gone for four. Exquisite timing. Now suddenly it's 46 from 33. Again, on the stumps, he gives the stump up, hits it on the bottom of the bat and still beats the sweeper. I can't believe the power. Good bowling, exactly what Ian Healy's been telling us. He's kept his line, gutsy bowling. Well done. You wouldn't believe it. It's a full toss, but it's fast. He bowled about 58 miles an hour. It's a little quicker. He got on to Yunus Khan before he could do anything about it. Looks easy, but it's fast. And he's late. Hits the base of middle, the base of off. Thank you. Presses off for maybe two minutes while the new batsman comes in. Wonderful innings, too, from Eunice Khan. 46 from 47, 305 for five. Moen Khan, clever little player, doesn't average a great deal, but look at the strike rate, 81. He can improvise, and he's going to need to. Yes, it is. What an enormous strike. Should get 12 for that. Really should. Saw him hit a four off the bottom of his bat last over. This one finds the middle. And you don't have fielders up there. Hits the fascia of the stand a long, long way. Balaji, this is the one, Robin. On television, it looks so easy. He did nothing wrong, and look at it disappear. Tried a little change in pace. Bold him. Well done. He's come back well. Rezek looking to give himself room, and the off stump goes back. And this becomes more and more of a nail biter. 
an eerie silence falls over the National Stadium. Gutsy, skillful bowling. He'd gone wide, wide. Now the slow ball, he changes it in the hand, produces the oppy. He grips on the wicket, and Razak about now thinks, why, why didn't I slog it? I'm out playing feebly. Why didn't I go through with the big shot? Khan has filled me. He's out 28 from 20 balls required, 6 for 3, 22. Shoaib Malik, he can hit it. Those stats don't mean a thing because he's got to do a bit better than that right now. I've seen him uh, smash South Africa for 80 and just 50 balls just a couple of months ago. He needs to be in that sort of net now. The reason he's out there, very clever bowling. Took all the pace off, but turned a little bit as well. But as uh, he also said, Razak will say, why didn't I just smear that? Why didn't I change the shot and try and run it down to the third man for one? Two here. If they run really quickly, oh, man, can't stumble just a little bit, so it will... Re oh, here's problems. No, the throw isn't accurate, so they get their three. Oh. Got that away. Should get two. Oh, they will now. Well, they were anyway. Didn't cost anything, Sachin. in the air and over extra two more there's six six and over another full toss by Balaji he has to be careful try to hit the deck if possible the base of the stumps rather than floating it up but not easy to do under great duress dig circular fast backlift by Moen Khan now what have we got in store this over One certainly, two probably. Two it is. Looking for the third. Oh, they've gone for it as well. Well, that is poor fielding. When you're backing up from a throw, anywhere on the ground, if you're in line with it, you've got to get in there and make sure there isn't an extra run. Our cameraman spot on. It's the captain at fault. That man had just moved straight. Moen Khan hit to his left, made him move. They got the two, no worries, and then Ganguly left clutching at nothing. Gives them a third. Maybe that might... Whoa, there's a good chase here. Is there a collision? Has he caught it? Somebody has. Somebody has. Mohamed Kaif has caught as good a catch as you will see in the outfield for as long as you ever watch cricket. Fantastic. Silence descends. The shot was on. Midoff and Midon have been playing around with their positions. So he went straight down the ground. Didn't quite get it. It was in the air for a long time. Both men were heading for a collision. And yet, Mohamed Kaif hangs on to it. Hemang Badani prevents injury. Stays out of the way just. Oh, takes the brim of the hat off. It could have been the melon, it wasn't. It was a great catch by Cape. Seven for 3.40, 10 to win from seven. Missed it. Down the leg side, but between the batsman and the wicket keeper. Pressure mounts. Nine from five. Boundary required. Yorker. It will get Moen Khan down there, but what a good delivery. Perfect. Right in the block hole. Only one. Eight from four. Boundary still required. At least one. Preferably for the home side. A big one. He's got it between the batsmen and the stumps again. What a good over this is. Another day. That's a little inside edge, and it flies down for four. Today it wasn't. Meander saying, get away, make room, play it on the offside. <laughs> <laughs> Two.
three great deliveries, two dots and one. You, you're already in a in focus. He's done it again, though. He's got it in the block hole. He should only be one. Man, card slipped again. Here's a run out. Look, it comes the other end. It has done that very slowly. Now they're looking for it. Oh, dear. Then is out one. Seven required from two. Here we go. Put it up in the air. He will be caught. And what a fantastic game of cricket we've just witnessed. India looked like winning for a long time. Pakistan suddenly came back into the game. And a wonderful innings from Imzimam Ulhaq looked as if he'd wrested it away from the visitors. He got out and those below him just couldn't quite manage. But wow, what a game.